All right, everyone. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today's matchup is between West Windsor Plainsboro School District. That's RF playing uh, over there. He will be blue. And we have Brookdale Community College. We have Brandon over on the red team. Just want to give everyone a heads up. This Friday is going to be our first Battle Royale stream. Nine players are going to go head to head. Uh, only one player can come out on top. So definitely tune into that stream. Definitely, we'll be going live. Follow us here on Twitch. Turn on notifications. You won't want to miss it. Uh, real quick, you guys should come in, vote. We have the ID for the room shown on the screen. I'm going to take you over right now to play a short video that's going to uh, let you know how to do that. Enter the room, enter the room code, pick your uh, block, pick your map. And uh, once you guys are done with that, once all the votes are cast, we're going to go right into the action. Once again, we're going to be playing a gem race. So first of four, no end gem. Uh, we will be right back. All right, the votes are in. Both players are now in the draft phase. We see, look at that, somebody's already chosen. I believe that's uh, RF down there in the red. He's he's made his selections right now. Check out some of the items he did. The cannon shoots both ways. As you can see from the animation there, it's gonna knock out any player to the left or the right. Fan of that. Cannon, or launcher, this is one of my favorite, favorite uh, blocks to choose. If you can get it right, you can launch yourself pretty quickly uh, across the map. Rat Maze, if that's the map that gets chosen, I'm not sure how uh, how well that will work. It's very tough to navigate there. And uh, Toxic, once again, it's a lot of freedom. I believe we played on that last week. Toxic gives the players a lot of freedom to run around, and it looks like it's going to be Rat Maze. So here, here in the maze, I think those cannons are going to be a really big help. Um to Arev, and I think for Brandon, I think he's gonna have to make use of his cannon as well, but also that uh, moving enemy, moving back and forth, should definitely help him out a bit. Let's see. Give these players a couple seconds here to uh, come up with their strategies. It does look like the bat enemy is going to be taking over almost that left-hand side of the screen where those red pipes are. Uh, that's over for Brandon. Brandon's covering up the map with that. You can see the gems right now. That's not where uh, they will be once the match starts, once against the first two, four gems with no end gem. The gems can spawn anywhere, they change. Chat, how are we feeling? How are we feeling about this map? Let me know. Well, both players are ready. Let's check it out. Zoom out here. Give you guys a uh, little overview of what the players are going through right now. Brandon's scaling up that left-hand side of the map. Is he going to jump into the cannons he placed down? We had a bat enemy kill. Looks like those bats are coming in useful. Oh, no. Uh, Brandon steps on his own bat, and now uh, Arav is once again trying. He's going to try to scale up this time. Both players are having a really difficult time getting across these bats. I would, too. I would consider using my hammer in this situation right now, uh, trying to navigate past this. See, both players are following each other right now. This is coming on the action. Once again, both getting struck down by those bats. It might be time to start taking out those hammers. Seeing if you can get rid of uh, some of them in the way. It's not going to get any easier once that Quake comes in right now. Just over 112 to play. Both players stuck in those blue pipes area. I would be considering going back up to those cannons uh, that Brandon placed down and maybe trying to launch yourself across the map. Doesn't look like the um, bats are so heavily concentrated on the left hand side of the map. Yeah, so just really on this right hand side, left hand side of the map where the bats are. That's going to be really tough to navigate. Maybe you can get in one of those cannons, launch yourself across to the right-hand side of the map, and then go for the gems there. The gem is locked off right now, but uh, you can you can get through that with a hammer. Slow-mo, second environmental effect. Just over 30 seconds to play now. Scoreless. Nil-nil. So now the, the thing is, if both players don't score at all, or they, they tie, we will go to overtime, and that's like a sudden death. So at that point... It's just the first one to pick up a gem wins. We might be going down that route. See those um, falling blocks coming into play now. Still stuck in that blue area. See if RF is able to make his way up. He's not. He just knows six seconds left. These guys are going to have to uh, admit defeat right now. Unless Brandon was able to get that last gem, he's not. Uh, here we are for the tiebreaker. Just 30 seconds to try and get a gem. 
They're still really stuck. They really want to come down into this blue area and, and see what that has to offer. I'm having a little bit of problems doing so. See, blue makes his way up, gets cut down by the bat. Brandon, cut down as well. 13 seconds now. If they tie here, it's just a tie. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing past this point. Look at look at Brandon just carefully navigating. He's made it the farthest I think I've seen. He's over to the green pipes. Just two seconds, one second, and we are over at a tie. Okay, so both players. Uh, we want to thank Arav uh, and Brandon for coming out today. That was at West Windsor Plainsboro School District and Brookdale Community College. Once again, we have our first battle royale stream this Friday. Tune in; you won't want to miss it. Thanks. All right, we uh, just got off the phone. We are not going to leave it as a tie. We can't do that here. We are going to have a rematch. Uh, we're going to give you guys a new room code. Just give us one second. We're going to jump right back into the action. Once again, gem race, first to four gems. Okay, we're not going to leave it there. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is uh, same thing. We're going to go Arab in the blue and Brandon in the red. Both players chose a little bit more freedom with the map selection. You see uh, jungle and toxic. Toxic, uh, one of my favorites. The top of the map gets a little difficult to navigate. Uh, jungle is good. It's similar to what we saw last match um, over at Rat Maze, but it's a, it's a little more forgiving. The map's a little more forgiving. You have a little bit more space. Let's check out the items that the players both drafted. Once again, we see our um, bat right there that's giving everyone trouble. I'm a big fan of the launcher. We have that selected. And this time spikes. I, I We saw spikes last week and it was used to actually cover up the barrels, which was interesting because the, the spikes actually hide behind the barrel, so it gets really tricky to, um, to figure out where they're at. And it looks like jungle will be the map that gets selected now in the build phase. We do, we do see Aurav making use of the spikes early. He has some robots back and forth. And we see some gems getting blocked off right now. Let's see. See the gems over here on the left side below those green pipes. If a gem does spawn there, a player, the only way they're going to be able to grab that uh, is if they use their hammer. That's um, Rav doing that over there on the left. Brandon, once again, placing those infamous bat enemies. We'll see how that shakes out. Disappearing blocks again, blocking a gem from Rav. So it could, it could work out. A gem might not spawn there, but... Um, if it does, it gets tricky to navigate. Chat, what are our uh, predictions here for game two of the rematch? As both players load in here. Okay, off to the races. Both players do get past the uh, enemy, the bat enemy there. We have a color change. I believe green is still going to be our ab, though. Uh, player two, the red, is going to be Brandon. Just going to zoom out, get an overview on things, see where this first gem is. All the way down there, down on the yellow. Once again, those bats are just really difficult to navigate. But I think right now we're seeing Brandon. I think he's worked out a strategy going down if that disappearing block and spike wasn't there. Oh, gem has came really close to the spawn. Uh, Rad definitely has the opportunity right now to grab it. And he does! Okay, first environmental effect strikes right after Rab is able to grab that gem. So now the pressure's on Brandon right now to tie things up. Where is that gem? Let's see. Over there on the purple. So we got to take that high route. And he's working his way over there. We're going to follow him. And Arab is able to grab his second gem. Now extends the lead by two. So right now it's all on Brandon. We're, able, we're going to watch what he does now. He is going to find his way to that gem. But he's going to have a tough time with these bats. He gets past it. Okay. Two to one. 48 seconds left. He sees the other gem spawns right below him. The robot... Close by. This is going to be some tricky navigating. He's able to get it before he uh, respawns. Now things are all tied up. 2-2. Two, two. We have our second environmental effect. That's Quake. I can't even see where the gem is right now. Okay. All the way down on the bottom right hand corner by those blue pipes. And Arab is able to grab it. He might wrap things up right now. Just 25 seconds ago. The final gem is close to the spawn. We saw both players take a respawn to get closer to it. And now it's all the way down with those yellow pipes. RF has the right idea. He falls out. Spectaculars just gets caught by that bat gem. Nine seconds left. We can either see a tie right now. Is he able to grab it? Yes, he is. Brandon ties things up with just four seconds to go. 
We are going to see a tiebreaker again. This one, wow. Three gems apiece. Right now, that gem's in a really difficult location down uh, below the purple pipes on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. I would like to see the, the players start making use of their hammers, getting rid of some of these obstacles. Looks like just 17 seconds remain. RF getting cut down by those bats. Brandon trying to make his way through. Launchers aren't going to be any help the way they're placed right now with that gem location. Gem switch didn't help them at all down to the red pipes. Just two seconds to go. Okay. Round two complete. We do have a tie again. Uh, um, I, I don't know if we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to go back to a short break and uh, we'll see if we're going to have another third tiebreaker. Just give us a moment. We're back. We've made uh, a couple phone calls. It looks like we're not going to leave it tied, but we are going to do a normal match right now. So it's not going to be a gem race. Uh, I'm going to explain that a little more once we get into it. Just hang tight. We're going to get a new room, room code, get both of the players back in the match, and uh, we're going to get things rolling. We are past the drafting phase. Both players went ahead and just went right to the build. We weren't able to jump in. Uh, but look, we see those bats coming out again. That's Brandon's trademark right now. But he has to realize that he also has to get past the bats. Difference here in normal mode is each player is going to have their own map, right? So, the, so RAV is going to play on Brandon's, and Brandon's going to play on RAV. It's going so your advantage right now is knowing your map, getting to those gems because you built the level. You should know where everything's at. Okay. First gem goes over to Brandon. He was able to grab his second. RF can still work on that first gem. Trying to figure out his way through the launchers. Brandon is just cutting through this map right now. RF coming close behind. So right now, Brandon, this would be a great time for that um, hammer. Try to get rid of some of those um, launchers over there. Slow-mo is a good environmental effect if you're trying to navigate something really uh, tightly, but right now it's it's just more or less um, trying to get to those final two gems for Brandon as uh, things get tied up. I believe this is his map. Took a, take a look at Arab, what he's doing here. Um, once again, uh, tough, tough gem uh, choices right now. One they can get to is over by the red pipes. Brandon's making his way over to that. It seems like he has an idea where the for the gems are. It's probably his map. Let's see if he's able to get his third right now. If RF figures this out, he'll be able to tie things up. If not, it looks like Brandon's going to take first map right here. Those cannons do shoot through walls, which is pretty tough. And just seven seconds left. I don't believe RF is going to be able to find this gem all the way at the top. However, he did a pretty good job. Yeah, we see Brandon in the lead okay we will now see our as map and what we noticed if anything neither player got the end gem there brandon even though it was his level i think it was a little too difficult uh for him to get so i see the bats so maybe this was brandon's level so this is so this is interesting <laughs> this is interesting. this this is probably brandon's he does find one gem right off the bat he does find one gem off the bat our going close behind i see some scaling up here scaling up these red pipes Let's see this. It's just a swarm of bats. If Arav is going to be able to jump and grab this gem down here, he might be able to get that second one where the red is. The lights out's not going to help him as Brandon grabs his second gem, which is 55 seconds remaining. Okay, there we go. Arav does find his first gem. 48 seconds. Plenty of time to find his find his second. Does need to make use of those hammers, though, because those bats are just going to absolutely eat him alive. There we go. Scaling up now. Just 30 seconds to go. He can find the second gem. He's close by. Yeah, once again, just those bats eating everything up. Slow mo's not going to help him. He needs, he needs fast motion if we have it. All right. Chat, 20 seconds left. Can RF come back now? 17 seconds remain. Once again, cutting through those bats is really difficult. Um, jumping and strafing in the air, not the easiest thing to do. Let's see. Here he comes. Five seconds left. I believe he's already grabbed that gem. Just two seconds. Okay. All right. Well, it came down to the wire for sure. Brandon, uh, congratulations. Takes the W on the third match. We want to say thank you to everyone over at West Windsor, Plainsboro School District, and Brookdale for Community College for putting this together. 
tune in Friday and check our YouTube channel where all the highlights and clips, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot from this match, will be posted. All right. Have a good weekend, everyone.